Hi guys, today we've got the Power Color Fighter AMD Radeon RX 6600. It's got 1792 uh, stream processor units. The engine clock for game is 2044 MHz. Boost is 2491 MHz. It's got 8 GB of GDDR6 memory. Memory clock is 14 gigabits per second. The memory interface is 128 bit and you've also got HDMI outputs as well as three times display port outputs. It's a two slot dual fan and um, it's got one eight pin uh, power connector. So that's pretty handy because um, if you get beefier graphics cards, you'll need to have more than more, more power connectors to, to service it. Card dimensions are 22 centimeters by 11.1 centimeters by 3.9 centimeters. And um, it's got pretty plain packaging, just a cardboard box, not too much plastic or overly done uh, compared to uh, other cards like, I um, can't remember what they're called, but uh, some other cards have um, more, much more packaging. So this one's just pretty bare bones, uh, the budget card as well. Um, two fans. And um, it's different to the Hellhound. Hellhound is definitely much more beefier, more premium. And it's got LEDs as well. This one doesn't have any LEDs. And also it doesn't, it doesn't have like a, a back plate. So you've got an exposed PCB, which I don't really like because I don't like touching the electronics accidentally. You've got an eight pin there. You've got pretty beefy copper uh, piping. And then you've got some uh, heat sink there too. I mean, it does the job, I th but I feel like, I mean, would I game with it? Yeah, but I ideally want to buy graphics cards that are at a reasonable price. And what I do have is a GTX 1080. I would have liked to upgrade it to a 3080, but I think the prices are still pretty, pretty high. So, I mean, if my 1080 died, I'd probably just use a 6600 or 6600 XT. So it doesn't, I mean, I, I don't really need to have a really beefy card unless I want to have more FPS in really demanding AAA games. So yeah, this, this just gets the job, down, uh, job done. It's a step down from the Hellhound. Hellhound is really nice cooling and it's got a backplate as well. And it feels more premium as well. So, um, but I guess it's pretty good for the money if you can get it at a good price as well. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave down in the comments below. And if you have any videos or things you want to see me review, then please let me know as well. Okay, otherwise I'll see you in the next video.